Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. I start in the name of Allah, the All-Merciful, the Ever-Merciful, and the everlasting curse on the Satan and his followers. Allah's blessings and peace be upon Muhammad the Prophet and upon his pure family. Our respected viewers, before getting engaged in this episode, allow me to start with one of the sayings of the Master of Martyrs, Imam al-Hussein alayhi salam, when he says, Salutation is crowned with 70 virtues. Six to nine of them belong to the initiator, the one who starts off the action of salutation, and only one remains for him who responds. Our respected viewers, peace be upon you and welcome to Imam Hussein, a series of episodes in which we talk about the different stages of Imam Hussein's life, starting from his miraculous birthday, talking about some of the events and stories happened to him during his life, mentioning some of the prophetic quotes in his right by his grandfather, the a messenger of God, and then ending up with his unmatchable martyrdom. My name is Hassan Hadi, and I'm honored to be hosting this program. Our respected viewers, in the previous episode, we spoke about Imam Hussein being put under pressures of paying allegiance to Yazid the tyrant, and therefore the Imam had to escape Medina towards or heading to Mecca in order to gather more support for himself to be able to eventually be confronting Yazid the tyrant. Our dear viewers, after his confrontation with Al-Walid and Marwan bin Al-Hakam, Al-Imam Al-Hussein returned to his home, escorted by his loyalists, where he spent the night. Al-Walid was still busy trying to gain allegiance from the son of Zubair, who had refused to appear before him. Our respected viewers, that night Ibn Zubair left for Mecca, and Al-Walid accompanied himself with a trying to capture and return him to Medina to give the oath of allegiance to Yazid the tyrant. When his efforts came to nothing, he returned his attention once more to Al-Hussein bin Ali, sending group of men to summon him to give allegiance to Yazid. Yet once more, the Imam delayed them, telling them to return the morning or to return in the morning to that both parties would have more time to give considerations to the issues discussed before. Our respected viewers, unaware that he could no longer delay, the Imam knew he must set out from Medina that night under cover of darkness. Accompanying him were his sons, nephews and brothers, except Muhammad bin al Hanafiya. He expressed his fears to Imam al Hussein, urging him to keep a law profile and travel to Mecca where he could gather support in a protected location while having some ample surrounding terrain in which he hide if he needed to flee. Our respected viewers, before leaving, it's recorded that Al-Imam Al-Hussein, Allah's blessings and peace be upon him, first visited the sacred graves of his grandfather, the Prophet of Islam, his brother Al-Hassan, and the hidden grave of his mother Fatima, Allah's blessings and peace be upon them all. At the grave of the Messenger of Allah, while prostrating, the Prophet appeared to him in a vision, saying, May your grandfather be your ransom. I can see you covered in your own blood, while you are among a group of people who are hopeful of my intercession, yet they will never benefit from it. O oh, my son, very soon you will be joining your dear father, mother, and brother Al Hassan. They anxiously await you. They anxiously await your arrival. And Allah the Almighty has designated an exalted station for you in paradise, unattainable except by martyrdom. The Imam awake from his vision in tears. Peace be upon you, O Master of Martyrs, when you were born and when you were martyred and when you will be resurrected. Our respected viewers, this is the end of today's episode. Let's pray that Allah the Almighty hasten the reappearance of the Master of our time to interpret the message of his grandfather Al Hussein bin Ali when he says, Verily, I only desire to spread good values and to prevent evil. This is what we have for you in today's episode. Until we meet again with the new episodes, thank you very much indeed for being with us. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.